Hey, this is Yulia and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, here I talk all things Canada, studying, learning languages and much more. Today is the day that we've been waiting for a long period of time. I got this. I finally got this. Dear Yulia, I'm pleased to advise that your application for permanent residence in Canada is now complete. Congratulations! You are now a permanent resident of Canada. Yes, this day has come. So if you're interested in learning more about getting PR, permanent residency, through Quebec, then keep on watching. A huge disclaimer before we start. I am not an immigration consultant. All the information in this video is based on my personal experience or on Immigration Quebec or Canada website. So please do not message me, don't ask me about immigrating to Quebec or Canada, because in Canada you need to have a license to do that. And the second thing, for all my smart people saying, yeah, I'm gonna apply through Express Entry. Well, here's the thing. Express Entry doesn't work in Quebec. You cannot come to Quebec and apply through Express Entry and get your permanent residency through that. Because when you apply through Express Entry, there is like a tiny check mark saying, I do not plan to reside in Quebec. So, if you are planning to come to Quebec and get your PR through Express Entry, then I'm sorry, it's not gonna work. So, let's get started. So, how can one move to Quebec, immigrate to Quebec, get residency through Quebec. The most popular program here is Quebec Skilled Worker. There are two different programs in this program. The first one is PEQ. So this is a program for people who are already here. PEQ is for basically graduates, for people who studied here and for workers. Rules change every year. When I applied in 2018, the requirement was to have one year of experience and French B2, so basically advanced avancé. Now they ask for two years of experience. I do not know what's gonna happen next year, but I'll leave all the links here, like under this video, so you can check for yourself, do your own research and see what Quebec is asking for. Basically, when you submit your documents, everything is perfect, you get your nomination from Quebec, which is called Certificat de Solution du Québec, saying Yulia is a worker, we approve, here is the expiry date, and with this paper she can apply for her residency. The second way to obtain this paper, saying Yulia is very nice and we would like to have her in Quebec, is through ARIMA. ARIMA is like a online portal where you can express your interest. Basically like Express Entry, but for Quebec. One important thing to mention here, Quebec or any other province has some limitations. So let's say this year they're like, okay, we wanna accept 10,000 applications. If you're not in this 10,000 applications, then désolé, you go to the next year's pool. Yeah, this is how it works in Quebec. It's super time consuming, it's super hard, but yeah, yeah. Another way to immigrate to Quebec is through business immigration. So basically entrepreneurs, investors, self-employed people, you need to have a lot of money for that stuff. But again, all the links gonna be in the description box so we don't waste our time for all of these programs. Way number three to get your permanent residency through Quebec is refugee, asylum seeker, and the last but not least is sponsorship. So basically family reunion. So how did I get my permanent residency, you're wondering? So I applied as a Quebec skilled worker back in September of 2018. I got my one year of experience, I passed my French, B2, B2, as they asked, and I submitted my application. At that time, it was a paper-based application, so I printed a bunch of papers and sent it to Nova Scotia. I don't know why, but the processing center was there. Now they do everything online. 
So I applied, I submitted my documents, all good. One year and a half passes. And I'm talking to my husband, and I'm like, I'm done waiting, because when I applied, they said that the average processing time is around 15 to 17 months. And it's been already 18. And I was like, you know what? I'm done. I was like, let's apply through sponsorship. And he was like, yeah, if you think that's gonna be faster, like, sure thing. So I applied through sponsorship program in November, December 2019. And basically, this is how I got my PR, because my Quebec permanent residency is still being processed. It's been two and a half years, no news, no nothing, like they send me updates sometimes, but still it's like in the system. This is so frustrating, like two and a half years. And the worst part is that you need to renew all your permits all the time. Like you get a one year work permit for your like employer and then you need to like renew it if you want to stay. But like, that's not my fault that processing times are two and a half years. And like, that's the average. As government says, some applications take longer to process. So, yeah, I got my permanent residency through a sponsorship program, thanks to my husband. And now I'm waiting for my card to come in mail. I don't know when it's gonna happen. So I decided to film this video now when I got this letter. Also, it says that I can use this letter for all my permanent residence benefits. So basically, this is my confirmation of permanent residency. As for the documents, they're pretty much the same for both programs, for the worker one, for sponsorship one. It depends only on the applicant. So when I applied as a worker, I was the applicant. So basically I had to provide my pay stubs, all my like papers from work, from bank, blah, 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 blah. When I applied as a sponsored person, my husband submitted all the papers because he was sponsoring me. But overall, it's pretty much the same. All the like questionnaires, they're like the same, like your last name, first name, like where do you live, your past occupations. Same stuff, different paper. The question that I got the most, I guess, when I mentioned on my Instagram that I got my residency, did you pay for the lawyers? I did not. I think, personally, it's a waste of money when your case is not complicated. What do I mean? So, a young girl who works already in Quebec, in Montreal, She's applying as a worker, she has all her papers, pretty straightforward. So paying 4K to a lawyer who will just like put my last name in the last name section, my first name in my first name section in the questionnaire, well, I don't see why would I do that. If your case is more complex, let's say, you're 40, you want to come to Canada, study, but you also have a family, kids, like, I don't know, dogs, different, like, kind of stuff, then it might be a good idea to go to the lawyer, to immigration lawyer, and pay for the services. Because when your case is pretty much straightforward, like, you went to school and then you worked and now you're applying for permanent residency, it's, like, step by step. But when you immigrated from another country, it might get complicated. Again, I'm not an immigration consultant, nor I am an immigration lawyer, so I have no idea. I'm just, like, guessing from my experience. Would I recommend paying for lawyers, yes. Again, if your case is super complex or you're not sure, if you're like, oh, what if they refuse my visa? What if I like make a mistake? Then yeah, I would recommend going and seeing a lawyer, at least for a consultation. You can ask all your questions if you're not sure about some things. I don't know about your bank statements or maybe like work papers. You can ask all the questions, but paying for the services, up to you. If you have spare four, three K, good for you, <laughs> best of luck. So yeah, basically I got my permanent residency through a sponsorship program within one year. So I think it's been like 13 months. Yeah, so I applied in November, like mid November and now it's February and I got my letter. So now I'm just waiting for my car to arrive and 
yeah, that's it. <laughs> if you're waiting for your permanent residency or you just like planning to move to Canada, I wish you best of luck. Everything's gonna be amazing and I'll see you very soon. Bye.